Raven was in it. Where was why was Chad not invited, girl? I don't know. I was I was not okay with Chad winning All Stars One. So there I said it. Um, it was a very pretty Puerto Rican girl in that season. Uh, she should have won. Her name was Alexis Mattel. And they literally eliminated Jarlexis unfairly. And if you don't believe me, go watch the episode. We got the motherfucking costumes to the T. We did the girl group perfection and all that shenanigans. Y'all know the T, but you know. I'm just kidding. I love Chad Michaels. I just wanted to win. <laughs> I, I just wanted to win. <laughs> it's nothing to, I'm competitive, bitch. I'm really competitive. Just, it is what it is. Uh, when are you performing in New York? I don't know yet, but I would love to go. I have so many friends and family in New York. I would love to visit. And I would love, I haven't performed in New York since 2011? 2011, I think. Or even earlier than that. How long since you've been here? In San Antonio? Since this morning? <laughs> no, since you performed last. Um, which like four years. Four years? Yeah. The last time I did it was uh, out in the park event. Yeah. Before the pandemic. We forgot that our pandemic almost took three years out of our lives for no reason. <laughs> and we're still there. Now, in, oh, I'm in, in Texas. Y'all got the uh, monkey pops. Y'all got monkey pops. Right? Is that in Texas? Hold on. Nobody kissed me today. Bitch, back up. Oh, yeah. back, hold up. Back, back up. Go back there. I was like, is that like <laughs> a push, push your station back there. Right there. <laughs> you never know this bitch. <laughs> I don't know what is that. I'll probably have it. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, my God. I miss Hamburger Mary's Tampa Dates. I love, I used to love that place. I'm so sad that they closed. Lots of businesses have been closing in Tampa and a lot of like, a lot of places. Like Baltimore and Washington, D.C. Um, bars to sing has been, you know, Bam! Benji today is in, if I don't mistake, she's in LA. We talked we talk this morning. I forgot to ask her where she was. With Benji, you just get used to like not knowing where the hell she's at. <laughs> you know. Bam, John. That's for you, John. The bam. I'm in season eight right now. Just started watching all seasons since I just got into drag and I'm loving it, but still got seven more to go. Girl, you got drag for for your life. Let's just put it that way. Jack Titus, I still I still want you to marry me. Um, I'm waiting for you. Let's see. For one day you stop being dumb. <laughs> Badges with a hot lover man. I'm gonna, I have to meet this lover man. But okay, so yesterday I started watching uh, 24 Hours of Love with Benji. And I only watched the first episode because my flight was at 5 in the morning because someone hates me. Because someone hates me that much. So I started watching that at 2 in the morning when I got home. And I said, well, if I go to sleep, I will never wake up. So let me watch. Banji show and I thought it was sickening you know I kind of got on my feelings because Banji said in the show that um, she has the fame and the love of all, this, all the fans and she gets the applause and the love and the attention from everybody but the curtain goes down and she finds herself lo um, alone what I got it so fiercely I work at Drag Race Live in Vegas and it's a sold out shows five days a week and it's incredible but yeah it is it's very bad curtain goes down show is over dancers go to one side girls go to the other uh, we wash our faces and go to reality and I found myself alone and the drive through a Taco Bell you believe that I need somebody that wants to eat Taco Bell with me at 2 in the morning 
a mess. And not another queen. Then not. Well, I, I can do the queen. I can do the queen situation. Just don't share the track. I just don't want a newcomer queen. Let me explain this. Because some girls are be looking for fame. And I already did that for seven years. It's over. So let's move on. I don't want to train somebody and I don't want to give somebody a career. So if I ever if I ever date somebody in the entertainment <laughs> they're also I'm spilling all my tea. If I ever gonna date somebody in my entertainment business, it has to be somebody that is already in the game. In the game. Let's put it that way. And knows what they're doing. It is what it is. <laughs> you will do Taco Bell with me? Taco Bell, for some kind of reason, after midnight, Taco Bell is better. <laughs> Maybe the drinks. <laughs> By the way, I don't drink. I don't cook. I don't drink. I do clean, though. It comes with the Latino in me. <laughs> Everything gets fabuloso. <laughs> uh, thank you. My pride outfit it was fun. Um, it was a Morgan Wells dress. Um, she's great. She has a own website, so go visit her. She's cool. People make fun of it, but the dress is gorgeous. And she didn't have my measurements, and it fit me to perfection. Why is Alexis Bill like Juan Gabriel? Because I'm Latino, you dumb bitch. <laughs> I am Juan Gabriel. I am Ana Gabriel. I am all the Gabriels, bitch. Get it together. No, I haven't seen Coco since Wednesday. We did an event together, but we get to spend some time on Monday and tomorrow at brunch, so it should be fun. Coco says she's turning 41, but I know the truth. Nobody's gonna tell her. <laughs> I was in Varro, Andy. I did like three shows in Varro in London and UK. Performing at the garden, no, I am actually in San Antonio at Tamatillo's restaurant where the show is not on yet, so you still have time to come over, bitches. I think it's sold out, but if you tell them that you know me personally through a live video, they will let you in. And if it's not, just send me a message. I perform in the parking lot too for y'all, bitches. The cook, the, a bitch, Kennedy is a chef. Now that you ask me that question, bitch, the food was incredible. Now, I was in a keto diet for a week, right? So, Kennedy fucked it up and gave me all the goodies. And I couldn't sleep that night with so much heartburn. <laughs> it was not even cute. But uh, it was not her fault that I wanted to be a fat ass and eat everything. So, yeah, but she's incredible. Are you friends with Kasha Davis? Who is not friends with Kasha Davis? Mr. and Miss Kasha Davis are amazing. So, yes. Uh, the mug is flawless. Thank you. It's a filter. <laughs> Anita is letting me have it. She said I look like Laura Bozo. Que pase la amante, bitch. I love it. Let me see who else is here. Where are you guys from? How's the weather in San Antonio? Humid, bitch. And we are we are in a literally like our dressing room, face the outside as you can tell. And the sun was not happy with us earlier. It was very bad. Yeah, Kennedy can cook her butt off, and she had a big butt, bitch. Just letting you know, her doctor did an amazing job on her ass. <laughs> Don't tell her I say that. Don't ever tell her I say that. <laughs> John, your friend doesn't believe that I gave you a bam. Bitch, switch friends. You don't need friends like that. Friends should believe you and support you no matter what. I'm not giving you another bam. That is $25. <laughs> I haven't watched Euro, um, Eurovision now. I just, my schedule is all over the place, Alexis. Carlos, muchos saluditos a mi gente de Venezuela. Los quiero un montón. 
Art Kansas is hot. How is Connecticut? Cochito. Australia is here, I see it. Aves, besitos. Oh Lord, Benji's in the house and I was just talking so much shit about her. Y'all know this tea. Y'all know this tea. It's very that. <laughs> But yes, we are about to perform. This bitch is getting ready. I don't know why. I, w I get ready when they tell us. Oh, you need to go on hose. Oh my gosh. She got a skirt, you guys. Look, she got a skirt. Is this a repo? Where's my pussy? Your pussy, bitch. You got none. What you looking for? <laughs> the dick. <laughs> bitch ain't no pussy, girl. What kind of pussy? I love your gender fluidity, but there ain't no pussy there, girl. <laughs> No. Oh my God. But yes. Yeah, Benji is a goddess. That bitch is a mess. Very bad. Bitch, you know means Benji heated already. You know she clicked to see, to see so she can read me later, and then she hit it. She's out. Things to do, places to be at. Like she said in the show, too many boys, too little time. <laughs> Very bad. But yeah, um, so watching All Stars winners, I mean, it's really good. You can tell the girls got an amazing budget um, for the show. Uh, you can tell um, Jinx is slaying the game. I think it's actually done for Jinx, fiercely. I mean, one of the girls always try more than the others, and it's her time. They love her so much that I feel like they have gave her several challenges that she did not do that good. And I feel like they're sleeping on Raja and Evie Oddly. And let me tell you one thing. I love Raja, like I said, so I'm kind of like, I'm kind of don't say too much because I just feel like because she was my winner, I have so much respect for her and admiration because she literally started um, mixing drag with high fashion. She started it all, people. Don't get that for you. Raja brought drag out of a bar and put it on a wrong way. So don't get that twisted. But Evie Oddly, I think she has done such an amazing um, job. And I feel like they're literally sleeping on her. Like the other day she did the fairy tale challenge. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Um, the fairy tale challenge, <laughs> she was literally. Um, she was literally sickening. She was the only contestant in both of the sketches, and she did both times great. Then she went on the wrong way, on her spike wrong way. Slay it! And they say, you're safe. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I'm, I'm just really leaving for her because she is, she's Evie, and she's slaying it. The other day, she did good with the Ru RuPaul's replica. I mean... It was incredible. Hey, baby. How are you? I'm live, so don't read. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've been doing it already. <laughs> you can't read the doll. Uh, but yeah. Very bad. How are you, baby? We met a long time ago. Right. Your makeup looks gorgeous. Show these people. Hi, She painted. Oh, uh, yes. How, how was your flight? Good? It was good. It was too early, but it was good. Okay. But yeah. Hola, Victoria. Um, yeah, All Stars has been super fun. I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. And it doesn't matter who wins at this point. Uh, we just got into reintroduced to the winners. And I'm loving the Jada as a whole. Gets an opportunity to shine like she deserved it. I feel like pandemic really fucked us all up. Like people that were in seasons through the pandemic kind of had a, a hard time. So she deserves to be there. Alexis for Drag Race in Spain versus the world. Is that even a thing? I don't even know. I, I, you guys know so much information that I don't even know. <laughs> but yes. I hope you guys are following me. If you're watching this live video, please give me a follow. Like some of my pictures. I want to be one of those popular girls. <laughs> Let me pass the 400,000 followers. I have been here for like forever. 
Thank you, baby. Thank you, Philo. I got many crowns. I don't care about the crown. I didn't get to hang out with Supreme, but I got to hang out while we were recording, and it was super awesome. She's just so amazing. You know what I like about Spain? Um, the level of respect was incredible. Like, I felt like a mega superstar since the moment I, I got there. Um, and um, I love the, the boys. I love the hobbies. But I am in love with Anna Lucky. That's literally my girl crush, Anna Lucky. So everybody tag Anna Lucky and said, Oh, Alex has got a crush on you. I kiss a girl and I like it. I should have my own franchise of Drag Race. If they go ever gonna do a drag Latino or drag anywhere in Spanish, it should be me. Y'all better vote for me, but suck up. <laughs> España versus the world. What is this? Would, would I do it? I don't know. It's strange. Ah, uh, thank you, Jadine. I love it. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to stop by and say hello. First of all, happy 4th of July to all of you. Um, if you're in America, if you're out of America, happy whatever you're celebrating. <laughs> um, and remember, um, this Monday, 4th of July, the aliens will come back. <laughs> so if you live near Chichen Itza, Mexico, you will have a, a long time to get to work because they're taking over the pyramids. Um, if you are in Egypt, you know what to do. Take, take other streets. The aliens are coming. I'm just kidding. I was just watching Independence Day before I got here. <laughs> Thank God for Will Smith because not only he can slap the hell out of a host in a award ceremony, but he can also save the whole world from aliens. <laughs> I am fucking. <laughs> Let me go before I can get it. You giving you all fucking drama. I love you guys. Bam. Bye.